back to One and All Kids. It's week three and we are learning about how Nehemiah was serving his city by helping rebuild the wall around Jerusalem. He knew that what he was doing was right. He was making a difference by serving his community. But not everyone liked what he was doing, so he faced some challenges. That's right, but today we will see how Nehemiah made a difference even when he faced those challenges. But before we get too much away, let's get into service. And we are here ready to play a game. Yeah, we are. Yesenia, I smell something gross. <laughs> I see things that I don't I understand. I see something good. I smell something oh. gross. That looks so bad. <laughs> I will die if I yeah. smell the spicy stuff. What, 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 what are we doing? Spice. All what right, are we doing? so we're playing Roll That Can. You oh, guys each yeah. get three rounds. Okay. Of course, your goal is to roll it to the pear slices because who doesn't like sweet, sweet things? But if you land on the Vienna sausages, I apologize, gentlemen. No, you don't. <laughs> no, you, no, you don't. This is what everybody wants to see. I want to cry just looking at it. It smells like dog food. It smells like dog food. Like <laughs> wet dog food. <laughs> dog food here. That's like the little, that's yeah, 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 little that's what it smells like. If you haven't seen it, go subscribe to our YouTube channel. Go to the backlog. Just watch all the videos until you find it. <laughs> That's how you know. That's how you know. Oh yeah. man. And then there's the spicy, spicy tomatoes. Those are always mm. bomb. I like them anyway. The Chef Boy RD. That's gonna be pretty good. That'd yeah. be pretty good. Spaghetti and meatballs, you know? And if then I some, eat these twice in a row, I'm like doing a sucker roll for the <laughs> Chef Boy RD. <laughs> Alright. This Josh is going up first. Alright, well, here we go. Let's do it, my guy. So we <laughs> Alright, we gotta roll this. What happens when it rolls off? I choose. Tyler gets no! to pick what you eat. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna be a jerk. I'm gonna make you eat the spicy <laughs> stuff. Shoo! It's, it's sheesh. <laughs> sheesh. Not shoo. Sheesh. Here you go. Here you go. Take a spoon of that. Oh, I don't like spicy. You don't like spicy? No. Would you rather eat the dog food? It's too late. It's All too right. late. He's <laughs> lots to know. It's a good chunk. Yeah. It was a good chunk. Good chunk of spice. For COVID purposes, please put the spoon down. No, ah. it's fine. Uh, you know, I already put it back in. All I'll right. get a new spoon. I'll get a new spoon. Okay, yeah, I'll get a new All right, spoon. All right, ready? Mm. Mm. No, you don't have to eat another one. What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> you liked it so it's much, spicy. he wants another bite. Switch me, switch me, switch me. It's spicy. All right, it's Tyler's turn. Here we go. Now I know why dogs pant. Because they're eating hot sauce? Uh. <laughs> All right, ready? Can of wonders. Can of wonders. It's off. Oh, it's going. Uh, <gasps> yeah. No! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, we got the pear slices. We got the pears. Oh, bring them on over. Bring them on over. Bring them on over. Thank you. I want to eat. It's very good, sir. It's a, a lot of pear juice in there. Don't make a mess. We don't have extra forks. Uh, we do. Oh, we do have extra forks. Okay, then. I'm just going to eat that fork here. Look at this. Mm. Look at that. Delicious peach. Pear. Pear. Not peach. Pear of pears. Eat your fruits and veggies, kids. So I made Josh eat the tomatoes. My mouth is finally. Mm. The saliva has finally. Uh, <laughs> Returned to normal? Yeah. I'll leave some for you, so. All we'll right, you're so, next, Josh. Round uh, two. That Round goes two. Back? Yeah. Yep. So, like, if I. Round two. You have a chance. You have a chance to get it. Well, what if I want to just eat one of these? Instead? Then that's fine. You can wuss out and eat one of those. Oh, he's calling them out. Shoo! Calling them out. Ice uh -huh. veins. Ice veins. Is that what it is, right? Oh, again, no! Josh! <sighs> I got too much muscle, I guess. I don't know. Should I make him eat the Vienna sausages that smell like dog food? Yes! Or should Absolutely I make him not. eat cold, mushy corn? All right, hands up if Neither you want. Hands up if you want Vienna sausages. Hands up, hands up, hands up. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Mm, I, you guys gotta stuff. vote, come on. It's quite a bit of hands. All right, and the corn. Hands for corn, hands for corn. Uh, 
To be honest, I think the Vienna sausage is one. All right, you said you said it. <laughs> it looked pretty even to me. Why do you want me to eat dog food? <laughs> it's not dog food. It might as well be. It's 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 a constant. Who put the fork into <laughs> two of them? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, well, no, 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 just eat one. Just eat one. Just yeah, one. just do one. Just do one. Just do one. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I don't think they look that bad. They look like hot like dogs, but they smell like dog food. It looks food. like an uncooked hot dog. Yeah, it looks like a hot dog. Don't people I'm eat them with like cheese like and stuff? Dog. It's <laughs> I've it's like made with chicken and pork bad? and beef byproducts. Is it bad you know though? Like, Is it bad though? Let me see. Tell me. Honestly. What? It doesn't taste like dog food. Okay. Good. Yeah. But. The smell doesn't That's help. Pretty, what, what would it you taste like a hot dog that doesn't need to be chewed, it just mushes. Oh, okay. Consistency <laughs> is key, friends. Um, <clears throat> okay, put that fork away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, would you rather have eaten this or the spicy thing? Uh, honestly, probably that, because I don't like spicy Really? Things. I, I like love spicy things. things. So, yeah. All right, like my turn now, my turn now. Here we go, turn. round two, Bye. round two. Tyler for the... Am I going for the pears again? Am I going for the pears again? You can, but if pears. it rolls go off. Go for the pears. If it rolls go off. Go for the pears. That's not. No! What is it? Spicy thing! I that was such a weak roll. It was such a weak I'm, roll! I'm so, I am, oh, no, that's a new spoon. That's a new spoon. I put a new spoon. That's, um. Actually, no, I didn't. No, you spoon. didn't. I, I was like, where spoon. is it? I don't I see it. I put new spoons everywhere else. Uh, All right, so, um, I like spicy things, but I don't like tomatoes. Oh, oh, this is best case for me. Oh. <laughs> I forgot how much he didn't like tomatoes. I did yeah, too. You know what I really don't like? Sense. What? Pickles. Pickles. Yeah, who remembers that Tyler doesn't like if pickles? If there were pickles there, I would have never rolled past it. I would have what only rolled this guy. Actually, I would have only eaten corn forever. Uh, forever. All right, here we go. Next, Next time. time. Next time pickles. Yep, that's the idea. I didn't think you did. Oh, that is spicy. Mm hmm. I'm not into that. Gross. I like it. Gross. Not in the spicy. I'm gonna do it your turn. Last I mean, round. I like spicy. Last round, here we go, Josh. This is your last chance, Josh, to get pear slices. Roll it. Or just roll to roll, you know? But if you end up on the Vienna sausages again, that's gonna suck. <laughs> I don't wanna eat. Here, redo that one. You're gonna yeah. write the things. I almost knocked it over. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, is it Vienna sausages again? Oh, it's right on the pear slices! Is it? Can you see? Is it on we're the gonna need. We're gonna need an opinion. We're gonna need an opinion. Judge's opinion. Um, please check the cameras, check the footage. I'm okay with it being either. <laughs> it's flat. I mean, it's pointing right to, it's, it's pointing at the Paris, but the it's Paris. like it mostly in the, the Vienna sausage area. Part of it is in the Vienna sausage area. All right, area. I got this. How we solve everything. Rock, paper, scissors. If mm. Tyler wins, Tyler gets to pick. Whoever wins chooses. Yeah. Whoever wins chooses. Yeah. Okay, yeah. rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Yeah. yeah, rock, one paper, one. scissor, yeah. shoot. Just one. One. Just one. Yeah, one, one shot. This is it. Here we go. One shot, one Rock, hit. paper, scissor, shoot. Ah! Rock, paper, scissor, shoot. Ah! I choose, hey, I choose pears. Oh! Yeah! Oh! Come on! Bring it in. Oh that brotherly <laughs> love right there, right. guys. Brotherly Let's get that. love. Let's get that. Let's get mm. Eat two. Eat two mm -hmm. for your conscience. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? To, to wash the That's other stuff did. out. Yeah, to wash away our <laughs> sin. Nothing but the blood of Jesus and some pears. Just kidding, oh, just the blood man. of Jesus. Oh man, guys, third round. Josh ended up winning right. that one. Here we go, let's see what Tyler, let's see what Tyler has to endure. If any of you out there are rooting for me to eat the Vienna sausages, we're gonna here have we to reevaluate our friendship. Here we go. <laughs> All right, here we go. Three, two. Hold on, I didn't do what I did last time. Okay. You kissed it last time? Can of wonders? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Ah, <gasps> oh, he got, oh, he got the pears three for three. How no, 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 I got the spicy. Oh, you got the spicy, that's right. But I told you, you kiss the can, it works. Kiss the can. Last round, Josh. All right, guys, you can absolutely play this game at home. Just make sure you ask your parents, permission. parents if you can play with the cans of food, you know? And they have to actually open it for you if you don't know how. And it can be dangerous, so just be careful. That's true. I'm glad you got to see Josh eat some Vienna sausages. Um, I'm just gonna heat up this for lunch. So uh, see you guys later. Eat some Chef YRD. Go worship! What's going on everybody? It's time to sing some worship songs. We get the chance to let God know how much we love him and we're starting off with our song, Echo, Echo. When night has 
has fallen when fear is coming still you're calling me when faith is lost and my hope exhausted you will be my strength when my mind says i'm not good enough god you're enough for me i've decided i'm not giving up so you won't give up on me you won't give up on me your love is holding on and it won't let go i feel it breaking out like in that go your love is holding on and it won't let go i feel it breaking out like an echo echo in my Says to me Now there's no stopping what you have started until it is complete When my mind says I'm not good enough God you're enough for me I've decided I'm not giving up So you won't give up on me You won't give up on me your love is holding on and it won't let go I feel it breaking out like an echo Your love is holding on and it won't let go I feel it breaking out like an echo Echo in my Pursuing Jesus means being as close to him as possible. One of the best ways we can do that is through worship. Let's sing some more to our song, All That I Need.
Worship time is an amazing time to just reflect on who God is and how much he does in our lives. We've got one more song at the end of service, but now it's time for our message. So grab your Bibles, grab a seat, and get ready to learn with us. Hey everyone, my name is Byron and I'm pumped to be here with you all this month looking at how we could be better pursuing Jesus. We're in week three of our series so far. We learned that knowing God and finding community are two ways that we can follow Jesus well. Today we're going to be talking about making a difference. If we know God and we find community, then we are on our way to pursuing Jesus. But if that all stays with us and we don't do anything about it, we aren't moving in the way that Jesus wants us to. Our memory verse this week comes from Colossians 3, 23, and it says this, whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord, no human, not for human masters is what I mean. We know that we live in a world with other people who are hurting or are sad or are angry. And if we have Jesus in our lives, we can help others. When we help other people with all of our heart, like our verse says to do, we start to show other people who Jesus is with our actions. We start to make a difference. Our bottom line for this week is this, making a difference helps us pursue Jesus. So just remember that, making a difference helps us pursue Jesus. Last week we saw Nehemiah find a community and help the poor in his city. He and his friends went and made a difference. After that, he went back to the large task of building a wall all around his city. He gathered more people and they were all trying to make a difference together for God's kingdom. I mean, I look back in my own life and I just remember like, man, I can't really make a difference. I don't know how to impact people. And what I did is a couple years ago with my group of community, we went out to God's pantry and we started serving people that didn't have as much as we did. And I showed up that morning and just thought, man, there's nothing that I can really do that's gonna make a difference today. And I remember walking around with this lady and she was just telling me what to put inside of her shopping cart. And that was, I just kind of felt like, oh, I'm just kind of like being her hands. It just fills, fills up the cart. But what ended up happening was we had a great conversation and he, she said, you're the first person that's talked to me in over like a month. And I thought, man, that was super cool. And she said, you actually made a difference in my day today that I'm able to just have a conversation with somebody that cares about how I'm doing. 
Each and every one of you can make a difference by serving those around you, just like Nehemiah was doing. But when we are doing work of God, when we are serving others, sometimes people don't like that. Some people want to see others hurt. Some people just want, don't want to understand what God is doing. Nehemiah experienced this while he and his friends were trying to rebuild that wall. If we look at Nehemiah 2.19, it says this. But when Sambalat, Tobiah, and Geshem the Arab heard of the plan, they scoffed contemptuously. What are you doing? Are you rebelling against the king, they asked? I replied, the God of heaven will help us succeed. We, his servants, will start rebuilding this wall. But you have no share, legal right, or historic claim in Jerusalem. There were people who wanted to stop Nehemiah from doing the right thing. In chapter four, we see how they lash out at Nehemiah and his friends. Verses one through three say this, when Samballot heard that they were rebuilding the wall, he became angry and was greatly incensed. He ridiculed the Jews and in the presence of his associates and the army of Samaria, he said, what are those feeble Jews doing? Will they restore their wall? Will they offer sacrifices? Will they finish in a day? Can they bring the stones back to life from those heaps of rubble burned as they are? Tobiah the Amorite who was at his side said, what are they building? Even a fox climbing up on it would break down their wall of stones. These guys just make fun of them. Any, anyone ever been made fun of before? I know I have. It's not a good feeling. Sometimes when other people make fun of us or get mad at us for trying to make a difference, we back away. Check this out. I have this cup of water, some food coloring, bleach, and I'm gonna show you guys something really cool right now. It's about making a difference. If I wanna make a difference, maybe change the color, I can put a few drops in and just kind of stir it around and watch the water change. Now there are people in the world today who are going to want to stop you from making a difference for Jesus. They might tease you or even stop being friends with you. And then I add some drops into this and it changes the color of it. We know that God is much bigger and stronger than anything we can come up against. Nehemiah knew this too, and he continued to build the wall with his friends. He ignored their teasing, their bullying, and he focused on God and his community. Nehemiah 4 verse 4 starts off with this. It says, Hear us, our God, for we are despised. Turn their insults back on their own heads. Give them over as plunder in the land of captivity. Do not cover up their guilt or blot out their sins from your sight, for they have thrown insults in the face of the builders. So we rebuild the wall till all of it is reached half its height, for the people worked with all their heart. We can do the same thing, find community, a group of people who love you and support you in pursuing Jesus. Then when we all go out and make a difference by serving others, this is what it looks like. It's like adding back this blue dye into the cup and changes the water back to blue, making a difference. You will change the world for the better and show others who Jesus is. Sometimes you won't see the process right away. Building a whole wall around a city is a long and tough process, but Nehemiah kept inspiring those around him to continue making a difference over time. There are so many ways that you can make a difference right now in your lives. You may think you're just kids. You can change the world for the better. You can sit with kids at lunch who have no friends. You can bring food for people who don't have any at school. You can sell lemonade to raise money for kids who don't have a lot. And the easiest one, you can be kind to everyone you meet and tell them about Jesus. So go out and make a difference now because we know that making a difference helps us pursue Jesus. Let's pray for a sec. God, I just wanna thank you for this time and this opportunity to just serve people, 
to go out and make a difference, whether that's in our school, in our community, or whatever that looks like, that we could just move forward and make a difference. Maybe bring someone food or just pray over them or just be their friend and listen to them. So we lift all these prayers up to you, God, in your son Jesus' name, amen. Even when we have people who don't like what we're doing, when we are pursuing Jesus, we could push forward knowing that we are making a difference for God's kingdom. Sometimes it's hard to understand where God wants us to go, but when we take the time to pursue Jesus by knowing God and finding community, then we will be more confident in God's plan for us to make a difference around us. One small way that I know how I can make a difference is by giving my offering. I can take what God has blessed me with and give it back to God so that he can use it for someone or something else. Giving our offering is something we should always do to thank God for all that he does for us each and every day. Talk to your parents about giving your offering today or even your leaders. Now, it's worship time as we sing Deep Cries Out together.
was awesome! Great job, everyone! We get to do it all again next week for our last week of the series. But for now, we want to send you into the week with one hope, one life, in Christ. Christ. See you in space Bye. next time. Hey, one and all kids, it has been so much fun pursuing Jesus with each and every one of you. And as we get these You Make a Difference in My Life cards, I can't wait for you and me to be able to take these and write uh, on them some encouragement for a parent or a teacher who has really made a difference in our lives. And so as we take these, you can color on it, draw a picture, or write a note of how that parent or that teacher has really made a difference in your life. And when you do that and give it to them, um, you're gonna look a little bit more like Jesus because what did Jesus do? Jesus showed love to others. So by giving a teacher or a parent this card of how they made a difference in your life, it will help them feel Jesus' love. So let's all pursue Jesus together and do this.